Storm Tracker Doppler Radar, sponsored by bankruptcy attorney E. Orem Young. Now, your local weather with meteorologist Brian Briggs. Well, good Saturday evening to you. Hopefully you're able to have a wonderful day today. Weather-wise, not bad across the Arklamis. Another chilly start, though, to our day. Saw lots of sunshine, though. Temperatures eventually warmed back into the 70s here. This is a live look at our El Dorado Tower Cam here. You can see what a beautiful way to end this evening. Some high clouds from time to time. They might notice a little bit of a brownish tinge to those clouds. Still a little bit of smoke in the air, as uh, we're still seeing some smoke drifting in from Colorado and Wyoming. The very high levels of the atmosphere, though, not necessarily at the surface, but as mentioned, temperatures did eventually get into the 70s today and now we're starting to cool off again as the sun starts to set we're starting to see some upper 60s developing up into southern Arkansas here Monticello sitting at 67 degrees seeing lower 70s along the I-20 corridor a little bit warmer the further south you go but all in all what a perfect day to maybe get outside and do a little bit of walking running and just getting some fresh air overall enjoy it while it lasts because at least we're in for the cooler temperatures for a couple more days here until we start to get back to a more typical heat and heat Humidity for the Arklamis for this time of year, at least by the time we get towards the latter half of the week. So, till then, no weather stays quiet and generally nice. We're really not tracking any sort of showers or thunderstorms either. Live storm tracker Doppler radar is quiet. This is not really expected to change as we head in the next, uh, well, at least foreseeable future here. Although, maybe as we get into our Sunday, could maybe see a few isolated showers or thunderstorms during the afternoon and evening. Other than that, though, just some high clouds from time to time, as mentioned before, and a little bit of smoke, too. As as, uh, we have that in the upper levels of the atmosphere, but notice our next system, at least quote unquote system, is off towards our northwest here. And generally, it does have the potential here to change up our weather a little bit more. But again, that's just going to bring us more favorable weather. You're seeing some very light shower activity too. Maybe you can see that as that gets closer to us. Kind of switching gears here. We did have a quiet couple weeks in the tropics, but lately, though, that has uh, since ended. Now we're starting to see Tropical Storm Gamma. And this uh, was a tropical storm as of yesterday, and is sitting in the southern Gulf of Mexico here. has made landfall across the uh, Yucatan Peninsula region, and generally it has kind of an interesting path with it. Really not expected to go very far. So as it kind of makes a northward turn, eventually it'll go back towards the west, then eventually dips southward here as it heads back towards mainland Mexico and kind of just sitting over open waters and affecting those mainly along the Yucatan Peninsula as it does so. So the, in terms of Arklamis impacts, at least right now, this storm kind of just seems to sit and spin, really doesn't do much for us. May see some moisture though from this system by the time we get towards the end of the weekend of the weekend, but generally though those chances look slim to none at this time. In the short term though, those rain chances that we could see as we head into our Sunday generally will be during the afternoon and evening as we get a little bit of daytime heating with that cold front, but all in all you may just notice a little bit of an increase in cloud cover as we head into our Sunday. Eventually those clouds will clear out though and much of the week not looking bad at all. So as we head into tonight, another chilly night. However, temperatures won't be as cool as what we've seen the last couple nights. Lows falling into the lower 50s. And why has it been getting so cool with the cool and dry air? Well, you can thank radiational cooling for that. Generally, uh, heat is always kind of going in and out of the atmosphere here. Hits the ground then goes back into outer space. And at nighttime, at least we don't get that daytime heating to keep us warmer, so those temperatures are allowed to fall given the right conditions, and that's why we see our temperatures falling into the 40s at times, but in this case, it'll be the 50s, and it'll be much of the upcoming week. So quick look at the seven-day forecast shows that again, those temperatures will be on the rise as we head into the end of the weekend of the weekend. Humidity will be on the rise too, though still not bad for uh, October weather here, just a little warm and humid from times. We'll continue to keep an eye on gamma for you as it moves through the Gulf. Hunter?